Here's a Fitbit Charge 6. I'm going to show you how to set this up step by step on your phone. Okay, so first thing is we're going to go ahead and plug this to the charger. So we're going to plug one into here. The other end we're going to go ahead and plug in. We're going to give it some power. And then as soon as you plug it in, it should turn on right away. Okay, and then once it turns on, next thing we want to do is download the Fitbit app to our phone. So go to your phone and go to the App Store. It doesn't matter if you have an iPhone or an Android phone, okay? So just go to your App Store. You want to do a search for Fitbit, all right? And this is what the app here looks like, okay? Go ahead and download, install that, and then go ahead and open it up. And then once you're here, the top left-hand side, you see that little icon of a watch and a phone? Tap on that, and then we're going to scroll down. And down here it says Add Devices, okay? Connect a smartwatch tracker or scale. So we're going to click on Add Device. Right there, we're going to choose our Charge 6. We're going to go ahead and start setup right there. Go ahead and read through these. Read it all the way through. And if you agree, tap on I agree down here. Let it charge. We're already letting it charge. We'll tap on next. Searching for Charge 6. Let's see if it finds it right away. I should get a four digit code here. Yep, my code is 6448, 6448, connecting to Fitbit, and it says pairing on my watch as well. Oh, it just vibrated there, and I get a pairing request. I'm going to tap on pair, and you can see what the watch here is doing. This is the Fitbit protection plan. Go ahead and read through this. You want to purchase or you can go not now. Okay, you can go not now or you can purchase later on if you wish as well. Okay, so here's that new uh, updated software for your Charge 6. I'm going to go ahead and update now. And it's downloading here, so let's be patient now. It's still download, downloading and I see a little status bar on the watch itself. All right, so the downloading is already done. Now it is installing. We still get a status bar on the watch as well. Still installing, and the watch turned off and it turned back on. The watch just uh, vibrated, and voila, Charge 6 is now updated. I'm going to go ahead and tap on Continue down here. And then you get set up your regular rhythm notifications. If you want to look into that, click on learn more, or you can skip it, or you can and you can go back to it later if you wish. Now it says uh, go ahead and try the uh, watch on wear your device loosely enough to slide it up and down your wrist just slightly, okay? So from here you can go ahead and put your watch on and then tap on next. It's a little tutorial here. Press button to wake. Uh, feeling lost? Return to your clock by pressing the side button here. All you got to do is press that. We'll tap on next here. Swipe to navigate. You can swipe across the screen for apps. You can swipe up for stats. And you can also swipe down for payment settings. And then tap on next. Swipe right to go back or uh, sorry, swipe right to go back a step or exit an app. Okay, so let's just say I'm right here. All I got to do is swipe it. We're going to tap on next here. It says here, tap three times to zoom in. With Magnify, you can zoom in to read small text. Turn on magnif Magnify in your device settings. Okay. So that would be a cool, cool feature. You have to turn that on the settings, but you'll be able to tap it three times and, and enlarge in like the text. That's going to be good for me. Wear and care tips. Go ahead and read through that. Tap on next. You're all set here. And then you can go ahead and tap on learn about charge six, or you can just go ahead and click on done. Oh, and you get this little premium thing here. You can read through that. I'm just going to go ahead and exit out for myself. And voila. Looks like we're in business here. You can go ahead and click on back right there. And there you go. This is just a quick setup guide. Any other questions or issues, just comment below. Let me show you really quickly how to turn on that magnifying feature, okay? So I just turned mine on. So basically, if I tap it three times, oops, one, two, three. Oops, that's on. It's on now. One, two, three. One, two, three. And it gets bigger. You can see here. 
Okay, if I want to go back, I can just tap it once. So how you get here is go to the clock face, click on that little button. Then from here, we're going to slide down, and then we're going to keep sliding down until you see settings. Okay, there's settings right there. Let's tap on settings, and then from here, we're going to tap on display settings right there. And now we're just going to go ahead and scroll down. Oops, never mind. Let's just go back. Okay, yeah, just go to settings. Don't click on display settings, but then we're just going to go down and we should see magnify settings, okay? And the first time I clicked on that, it'll tell you. If you tap three times, it'll enlarge and tap once to go back down, okay? Anyway, mine is on right there. And now, so for instance, if I can't see this, I can one, two, three. Oops, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. All right, there we go. And you can kind of look at that and then just tap it once to go back, all right?